Okay, I started the scenery on this section here. I put some of that great stuff. I don't want this to be exactly a square cavern. And uh, the camping scene, I did the same thing. I got a piece of foam underneath and I decided to make a, a road using one of the Woodland Scenics risers. So I've got that figured out and I wanted some background mountains. So I'll carve those down when they're done and a little bit there. I'm gonna do something about these tunnels to make it look like there's a start of a mountain. And I put a little road in and I carved out for the foundations for the little houses in the new subdivision here. So there'll be a little dirt road, like a housing area under construction and the road goes up to here. So I'm probably gonna have a little bridge connecting these two. So right now it looks a little stupid, but this will be carved down. I drew out where the track goes. So this is obviously too close, but that's how expanding foam works. So I'll carve it down with my big, big saw, this, this guy here and uh, get, get that shaped. Use a little bit of plaster cloth, but it won't need much. And then I carved this stuff with the Woodland Scenics carving plaster. So I got that started and obviously I have to do another bit um, on the bottom, but that's no problem. And then I uh, got this station in the way that I like. So the uh, background is actually a, a vinyl wood sticker, but it, to me it looks like rocks. And this is kind of a peel and stick tile. So I had to move the middle tiles around in the one, between the one track. And right now what I'm debating is how far to go with it based on how long my trains are. So I hot glued down the track up to here is now glued. This whole track area is glued down. And I got the uh, bottom concourse in and this little building actually worked perfect to hold it up. So it's gonna stay. And uh, I have another third of this building to go on. I'm probably gonna end up using this station. Uh, it's too nice a station to not use. So put some lights in there and some lights in in this part. And there's gonna be lights in the finished houses that go here. And there'll be street lights, of course. And then the uh, little commercial district will be in the back here. Up here will be uh, where the cabin is and the little campground. So. This uh, tile, how I did it, is actually, this is what it looks like. And it comes in silver as well. So uh, it's not quite as high as I wanted. So I got some of these cork sheets. Uh, there's a thicker one that I use. These are thinner than what I ended up using. And everything is glued down all hot glued into section and someone asked me uh, my buddy Chris asked me if I was going to grout these tiles I originally thought I was going to but I don't think I am now um, it runs quite nicely this uh, I'll just give you an idea this actually came out better than I thought and I completed this bottom area in one night so other than lights so um, this mock-up We'll have to get road on it next and uh, um, figure out the bridge situation to connect over to the uh, Sears Mall. But it's coming along. I really like how this ended up and I'm going to put some more carving plaster on next and and then get that painted. And uh, obviously you need some there. So I just did small batches. All right, we'll talk to you soon. That's That's how it's looking. Have a good day.